Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Saints Rock League action. Sorry for hopping right into this game, but we had a little bit of a delay here, and it is a hectic day here in the Saints <laughs> broadcast room. You know, Saints Gaming CA2 is live now with that green matchup there, so that's going to be going on not far over. Comp, though, can open up this game with a goal. So, yeah, a lot going on here in the Saints broadcast room. In this tournament, you know, firing game after game after game, and it is hectic in here, and we are doing our best. So bear with us, trying to cover every single Saints Rock League game for you guys here today to get things underway, but the St. Clair Saints roster going to start with a 1-0 lead here in this matchup. St. Clair Saints gold versus York University, and uh, St. Clair looking to take this early lead. Yeah, so again, this is a best of three matchup, so uh, earlier it was my fault. I told everybody I believe it was a best of five, so um, again, moving on. Um, Saints looking to take this game one, trying to get some offensive pressure, trying to build a cushion, but uh, last time I watch York they, they were pretty good so uh, I'm expecting uh, some pretty good things and that's gonna go barred down and Saints have all the pressure nobody's back spoods goes a little bit up Jay's gonna redirect that gives it to comp and comp's wow. good score what a play Kermit oh my god the oh St. Clair Saints my. gold roster just shut that one down that pass from Jay was nasty that pass literally okay redirects his car right to the right of the net he has an off angle he can't score from that angle unless he gets like crazy lucky like 99 to 1 odds right but then he gets that pass right over to comp comp is right there in the center makes it a beautiful goal and allows the saints to take now a two goal lead cushion in this game and they're looking to keep things throttled pedal to the metal here right now for the saints minute half into things and this two goal lead still here york looking to get an answer it seems to be a little bit slower of a game than the last gold roster game that we watched but nonetheless, still going to be a great one. And, uh, you know, I, I like seeing that, you know, mix it up a little bit. Last game, we see a big offensive pressure game. This one, big defensive pressure game. Yeah, and defense could be ex extremely um, valuable in this game for both teams. And moving there, I mean, Saints starting to do something. Redirects it. Smoots. Comp will score that goal and your St. Clair Saints gold roster now going to take this one up with a 3 nothing score line. And it is three minutes remaining in this game and the pressure is still there. Beautiful shot. Comp will shut that one down. And now with two minutes and 59 seconds remaining, your St. Clair Saints are uh, looking pretty solid here, right? I mean, they're just trying to keep things going here moving forward. Jay with a beautiful demolition and Comp is now following it up and trying to make an offensive play. Ball bouncing around right in front of the net, not able to go. Spoots looking to follow it up with a 50-50 shot. That is going on target. And now Jay trying to keep the play alive. Spoots here to play off it once again. Comp coming in from the back line off the board and not through and through, but what a effort there. The Saints offensive pressure is unreal right now. York trying to do whatever they can to keep this one out. Ever since that second goal, the Saints scored that beautiful, gorgeous passing play. Saints has been on another level just with the offensive pressure. I think that, I mean, York University has to slow it down a bit, you know, to get a little bit of control and uh, maybe go for a few demos if that's what it takes to win a game. And I mean, oh. faking it just like that, that's going to be a shot on goal and Hargan is going to put York University on the board. Saints were not anticipating that ball to be in a 100 kilometer shot off that car. Like it was going real slow and then he got a good little swerve on it and it made the ball go too fast for Comp to actually come through there to make a save. And uh, now with just over two minutes remaining, York answered back and uh, that's exactly what they need, building some momentum for themselves. Comp getting another demo on the hard gun and Spoots trying to play off it, pass it to Jay. Oh. Little high, but can they play off the rebound? No, nobody's there. And there might be another goal for York but no, that'll be a little bit wide. So St. Clair is still going to maintain that two goal lead just under two minutes remaining. And the offensive pressure is back for your St. Clair Saints here. Now York trying to make something happen, but so far not so good right now as uh, you know, a minute and a half remaining, putting a little bit more pressure on York. Yeah, I mean, the way Saints are playing, how many shots they get off the backboard and they go back at it again. That's going to be recentered, just a little miss by St. Clair. But again, somehow, a little bit mistake doesn't matter. Saints are just still but there with the, the offensive pressure. The Saints have been triple committing a lot lately, and it's making me a little worried because, okay, maybe in this game it might be okay, but when we get later into the series, comp, beautiful goal, putting it to 4-1, to one, and that's actually, is that his fourth goal? <laughs> yeah, he, he's got all four. Goal. Comp's got all four here in game number one, and he is just running it up. He is ready to go today. Hey, we locked over to that nest this morning. He's like, I'm locked in. Get ready for a yeah. long day, Deprived. Get ready for a long day, Kermit. You're going to be here all day. So let's go. That's what we love to see. Comp firing away. 
But just as I was saying just previously, um, you know, at this point in time, it's all Saints, right? So York just trying to answer back here a little bit more. They need to get something going with it. And it's, uh, it's just really difficult when Saints are triple committing. But, you know, the Saints triple committing could hurt them here later in the day. Yeah, moving on to that, uh, you know, later on, the harder competition. Um, that triple commits, the, that's going to really, uh, again, another double commit that's uh, probably not necessarily they needed to do here, but uh, the rotations are saving them so far. So um, York University looking to get some going, but Spoos is going to slow that down. A little pass over to Jay, trying to tee it off for him, actually, and then... The teamwork is really good right now between the three. That's one thing I'm really noticing, the passing plays. Even though oh. they might not all be working, and that's going to give Hargan a second goal. Good thing that the Saints did find that fourth one, because it would be a lot scarier right now if they didn't. Uh, but York with another great shot. Hargan from deep. That's his second here now of this game. Another fast shot, too. That one came off 110. Last one came off at 99. Um, I mean, these are some fast shots from York, and it's making it really hard for St. Clair to play the rotation, play the save off the rotation because of how fast these shots are coming through. So with only 25 seconds remaining here in game number one of this best of three, it's looking heavily in favor of St. Clair right now just because of the scoreline that we're seeing. Um, but York, I believe they do have potential to take, you know, maybe this next upcoming game or even, you know, game number three if they, well, obviously they have to take game number yeah. two now. But, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it's really going to come down to things here when, you know, York is finding goals on the Saints. They are catching the Saints off guard when the Saints are making these minor mistakes and they are reaping the benefits of them. And that's one thing that could hurt the Saints here. So we'll see. But that ball is looking to maybe touch the ground. Jay going to get a nice little demo could there. but. On net. It doesn't really matter. It, it, no, yeah. no matter if it went in, no matter, no matter what happened there, it, it really wouldn't have changed anything. So that is going to be game number one done and dusted in your favor of St. Clair. So they're looking to keep things going here now, heading into game number two potentially. And uh, all these players just readying up here now. St. Clair, Saints, Gold. Um, they're looking pretty solid, right? I mean, every, everything's going well for them as of now. Um, this is winner's round three. Uh, you know, you win this, you go to winner's round four. That's very deep into that winner's round, right? You know, there's some teams that lost in winner's round one. We, we, the yeah. gold had the benefit of getting a bye, getting a win. Now in round three, up a game. Like, I mean, if you go winner's round four you and you lose maybe there potentially, you go deep into losers at least. Like, like yeah. the St. Clair Saints gold, they've already, like, been really thrown through. <laughs> Call them promoting the Twitch channel up there. So, our yep. <laughs> All the York fans gonna come through here and support this. Well, let's go non-biased cast here whatsoever. We love York University. Let's we go. We love all the teams. Uh, as honestly, long as honestly. Great, as long as it's a great game, uh, that's all I really care you're about. You're coming out here. No, as long as you're one of those teams that shows up and doesn't TQ your games, uh, we love you. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> but yeah, so it is going to be St. Clair Saints getting things going here. Game number two, currently leading by one. Um, but that's one thing that makes these best of threes very interesting because you know, it, no it, it's no mistakes. Exactly. Right. I mean, I know it does get, you know, oh, beautiful. Like, oh. is he the only one to score for the Saints in the yes. series? Yep, and he's so got far. five. Yep. And he's got he, five. This is fifth goal. Within on the, five shots. Yeah. Really? Yes. Five oh, for five. my goodness. Comp is five for five on shots here so far <laughs> in the series. So great stuff from him. But yeah, just as we were saying, um, no room for mistakes. This does get uh, to maybe best of fives, I think, once it hits like semis. We go best of five. Once we get into like that top eight kind of pool, it gets a little bit more lengthy and gets a little bit more serious, right? When you have those top schools coming through and competing, weed out majority. They have to make a best of threes just because of there being 120 teams oh, per yeah. pool, like 360 teams total, whatnot, right? So that's why we do see that coming through. But it's going to be St. Clair still with this one nothing lead in the series and a one nothing lead here in this game about a minute through. And York, they have four minutes to force a game number three. Oh, York going off the post. Almost had an opportunity to tie the game. Saints on the comeback here. Jay gets a shot on goal, but it just goes wide. And Comp trying to get himself another Dude, Comp goal. is he lighting is, it up. He is lighting up the scoreboard. And, I mean, York University playing better defense this game and, you know, showing a lot more offense. Oh, so. good center. Jay trying to play off it. Bounce it off the roof. That might dribble in. Oh. No. That York is there to play off it. Comp was just not able to get that boost over there and make that play. So that's just what we are going to see come through here now as... St. Clair Saints, they are going to be I'm trying to find another goal, but oh my gosh, the defense from York is phenomenal right now. The limiting Saints to a one goal lead with the shots that I've seen come through from St. Clair is massive right now for York. And now, catching them off the rotation, it's a one-on-one -on -one all for Coppin. Caught misses that one, he goes a little too fast. Prime, Duke come out, finds the goal. York gonna tie this one up, one-one here. Minute and 50 remaining, or sorry, minute and 50 burned on the clock. Three yeah. minutes and 11 seconds remaining. 
and uh, this is a nail biter of a game, and it's a must win for York Saints. It's not a must win, but you'd like to end it off here. You don't want to see a game number three come through. So let's see what happens. It's a very tight game here. Kickoff is underway, and Comp follows up with a beautiful shot. Ooh, gonna get redirected though off of the York defender. Now going a little high. Spoots gonna play for it on the defensive end now. We'll get that boost up there, trying to send it towards midfield. Comp gonna play off that one. And now this is just a battle around midfield, and it's a big battle at that. You're trying to get this offensive pressure here right now. Yeah, and I mean, York trying to get uh, some pressure here. And oh? Good defense again from York, and uh, they're on the move on the offensive. Trying to get, trying to take the lead here because they're on a series ending. <gasps> and that's going to trickle on the line. Oh. It's going to go in, and Prime's going to score. Wow. York University is going to lead this 2-1. Look at this replay. Who is behind that, Spoots? Okay, oh, Jay got it behind it. He hit it once. He's rushing back to it. I mean, if Jay had one more second there, I mean, he saves that one. But York going to take a 2-1 lead. I'm surprised, personally. I'm surprised on how close the series is. York has really come through and really making a name for themselves right now because, you know, Saints, this is the one seed for this tournament right now, right? York is not in that top, I don't even think York's top 10 seed right now. So to have them come through uh, and do that, immaculate, but Jay will tie us up. He's gonna be the first one besides Comp to find a goal in this series. Now putting it to a 2-2 scoreline. Just over halfway through this game, number two, and it's a massive game of that. What do you think about that goal, Kermit? Oh, that is just gorgeous. They need to have like a little camera to get our reactions on some of these goals. Our oh, reactions are hilarious. Our reactions are nuts, <laughs> dude. We, we sit here, we are so passionate. Like even York scores some goals, and we go crazy. Like, oh, yeah. like you know, you, we we respect a nice shot, a nice goal. We love to see it. So. Things come through there, and it's still going to be 2-2. Spoots on a nice little shot to up top corner, but a little wide. Now going to result in a, still a 2-2 scoreline. Under two minutes remaining, and there is a lot going on here, Kermit. I mean, anything can happen. This is anybody's game. York needing it to, you know, force a game number three. Saints need it to not have to go to a game three. Uh, so, you know, lots of, you know, things on the line here for these two teams to play. So... Let's go. Um, I mean, any predictions here for the final minute and a half? Oh, man, it's anybody's game. The way they're playing, I wouldn't be surprised if Nork pulls off a goal right here. Prime's going to redirect that, and Comp's there for a big save. And Trigger Happy keeping it in the Saints end, trying to get something started. But this is going to be a nice pass. But defense from York is uh, right on spot, right on the spot right now. And Comp gets the center. Jay going to redirect that towards the middle. But Prime's there to make sure that Saints doesn't get to any opportunity on that one yeah so i actually got a little bit of a hot take right here now kermit so i'm gonna tell you right now next goal wins this game uh, I, that's what i'm saying right 65 seconds remain on the clock um a comp and beautiful shot there just getting a shot down in midfield though now a little high on that saints that's food's big save to take that out of the zone but yeah next goal i'm personally believe will take this game right i mean at this point in time there's so little time left and uh tie game i mean uh, the defensive pressure is looking good from both teams. So one goal can change so, so much here right now, especially now that this clock is ticking below 45 seconds. We might even see an overtime. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if we see an overtime here. As Spoots goes up, redirects it on net, but just a oh. little wide and trigger happy. Trigger so, happy yeah. makes a save. And I mean, it's anybody's game. Yeah, so now it is going to be 2-2. 24 seconds remain. I mean, this is down to the wire. Are we going to see this one end in regulation? Are we going to OT? This is right on York net. Comp coming from the aerial. Getting it sent into the corner. Trigger Happy is fighting for it. Jay playing off of this one. Getting it floated right from the net. Comp coming from the end zone. And it goes. Bottom right corner. Your St. Clair Saints will take this lead. Eight seconds remain in game number two. And they are firing right now. York University not able to get on it. Comp going to find his sixth of the series oh man and jay did all he needed to do stop the ball on his car act like a golfing tee and i mean there's five seconds left york needs to do something this is gonna be an open net and smooth is gonna put it that's away game. and that's, that's game, game. Saints, saints gold are on to the next round saints are on their way round number four bound here in winners and they are looking immaculate today a little bit of a close call oh, there man. two two 10 seconds on the clock, they look up. All right, boys, let's flick the switch. Next thing you know, two goals come through. Game over, nail in the coffin. Your St. Clair Saints take this one oh, for number two. Not gonna happen, but hey, gee, geez. Uh, that, that didn't matter if it went in or not. Saints would have won uh, by, by one goal, so. Don't get Man. me wrong, York University put up a better fight wow. than I was expecting. Yeah. That was yeah. a phenomenal game. 
Like props, props to York, man. Like series, my bad. Not, yeah, not game series. I mean game two, right? I mean, yeah. But they did a great job there overall. York putting through a great fight. So Saint Clair Saints goal here will be advancing further in the bracket. If we want to take a quick peek at the bracket, we can, and uh, you know, maybe see where they're headed. We who are the options on who they're gonna play next? Yeah, for Saints. Um, yes. So if we do see here, they did take down York. So we are in match D A. And that is going to be University of Delaware and Plattsville, who are our potential opponents here. They are still early game. They're probably just starting game number two around right now. Yeah, um, somewhere so, probably. Yeah, so we will see that one come to an end here shortly, and we will get our opponents. But as of now, St. Clair moving to winners around four, which I actually do believe is the round before quarter. So yep. we are very, very close to, you know, making it to that higher up section there in the thing. So... Overall, we are going to do that, but I know Saints Gaming CA2, I believe they're still in game right now. Yep. So if you guys want to head over there, that will be in game and you guys can come back here after. We're going to send this one to a, a short break, break yep. here momentarily as we do get prepared for this round number four. Stay with us. However, like I said, Saints Gaming CA2, they got some Rock League action right now with the Saints Gaming Green roster. My name is Jackson Pride Brown, joined alongside Nicholas Kermit Malash. We'll be right back with you guys in just a few minutes. <laughs> 